Hey guys, in this video, I want the message to be short and sweet. Um, before I do that, uh, I do want to give thanks to one of my uh, long-term subscribers, Captain Price. I appreciate you, brother. Um, so, Captain Price, thank you. Um, guys, in this video, I want to talk about getting comfortable with predicting price. Uh, guys, the fact of the matter is, is that when you are day trading futures, you are going to be delta positive or delta negative, meaning you are going to make a bet on the market going up or the market going down. And so you are predicting price, whether you want to admit it to yourself or not. You are not reacting to price. Um, and so to get ahead of that, guys, you must think to yourself at all times, well, where do I think that price is going? Does it want to draw to that buy side liquidity? Does it want to draw to that sell side liquidity? Does it want to come up into this sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency? Does it want to take out these, uh, take out these lows? Um, guys, you have to predict where price is going. You must, and, and sometimes, you know, I think the reason you might have some discomfort with that is, yeah, you're going to get it wrong sometimes. Uh, but even if you get it wrong, but you're directionally correct, who cares, right? Um, it's why you got to use your risk management, break even stops, take risk off, parcels, whatever. My point being, guys, is that you are taught in so many of your retail courses and retail concepts, oh, well, you're not really predicting price, you're reacting to it. Guys, that's why 90% of people lose. You must predict where the price is going to draw to next. I, you have to anticipate. I mean, there's you've got to put yourself out there. You have to take that mental risk that, you know what, I think the price is going to go there, and here's the reason why I think it's going to do that. It's drawing to an inefficiency or it's drawing to liquidity, and you've got to think to yourself like, okay, I think it's doing this, and if the market proves you wrong, the market proves you wrong. I mean, so what? This is not a profession about being right, guys. This is not a I am right or I am wrong profession. This is a uh, I made a prediction and whether I was right or wrong, uh, did I make money or did I did I preserve my capital or did I lose did I lose the least amount of money possible? That that's it. I you know I could, for example, think that the market is going all the way up here to this sell set amounts, buy set inefficiency right now up at six sixteen. Uh, and take the position off at 579 and still make money. I mean, that's how these things work, guys. Um, you must predict where the price is going. Everything is about the draw on liquidity. It all starts with the draw on liquidity. The PD arrays, the multipliers are just the icing on the cake, the, the entry mechanisms. Everything comes down to where is price going next. Guys, that's that's what ICT teaches. And fundamentally, you've got to get away from I react to price. No, you don't react to price. You predict price. I predict, I anticipate, I expect that the price should want to draw higher or draw lower, and here's why. You make an argument, guys, and if you're wrong, guess what? You're wrong. And you try again. So you should never think to yourself, uh, I don't have any idea where the price is going. You, you, you better, if you really have no idea where the market is going next, you should be flat. Because if you are ever in a trade, you must have an idea of like, here's where I think price is going and here's why. So in conclusion, guys, you must always, always, before you take a trade, think about and have a, have a, like a reason why price should go to where you want it to go. Is it drawing to an inefficiency? Is it drawing to buy side or sell side liquidity uh, what time of the day is it what session is it guys you must predict price I can't tell you this enough everything starts with the draw on liquidity okay you must predict you are not delta neutral you're not betting on a delta neutral option you are delta positive or you're delta negative that's it you're either betting on sell side or you're betting on buy side and so every time you take a trade guys it's the first thing in your mind has got to be I you know where do I predict that price is going? You are trading futures after all, right? So you're going to get it wrong sometimes, guys, but that's no reason not to try. In fact, you must try. you got to get over that hurdle of, of I don't really know what the price is doing or whatever. You have to try. You've got to try, and you're going to get it wrong, guys, sometimes. You're going to get it wrong, but nevertheless, you've got to keep trying. You've got to take mental risk, the mental risk of, you know what? I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm, I'm going to predict that price should go here, but you know what? If the market proves me wrong, then we'll reassess. And that's, that's really have to, how you have to think as a day trader, guys. So in conclusion, I want to thank Captain Price for always uh, you know, being, a, being a part of the team, uh, that commenter, longtime subscriber. And yes, you must predict the price.
you must predict the price.